my brand new radio, practically brand new radio opened up and I've resorted to let's see here the, the, the plug that comes out is I got your signal right and your positive and your negative so what I've resorted to doing was splitting it open running a JST to my positive and negative and just a normal uh, 3.5 trainer jack that you can you know it's just a mono jack stereo jack basically your signal your yellow uh, focus in here goes to the white okay so basically I strip back and uh, got rid of the uh, the negative which is the, the bare copper and the red is the positive so I, I multimetered it and uh, Make sure continuity was uh, correct. Next thing is, I need to tie it in with the main flight battery, which you need at least a two cell, right? You, you need at least a 7.4 volts because that's pretty much the minimum that that'll run out seven volts. So what I've got done, I've just uh, drilled out a hole here, soldered here because this is your battery connection. Right, positive is on the left and negative is on the uh, right, which is right here on this. So it's just on the other side of the uh, board. And yeah, so I know positive right here is on the uh, right hand side. So when you flip it over on the in inner side, it's on the left on the inner side. So basically, I'm just going to uh, Put a plug here and out through here, and I'm just going to make a flush and hot glue it in. Get my connection, and I'm just going to solder on to the two uh, positive, and then bring my negative around and solder and come the other side. Put a little bit of hot glue for uh, protection. Drill a little pilot hole, and then I uh, had a little, some little craft files, some round ones and triangular, and just rounded it out. This is going to be flush, and basically. Plug that to your trainer port and plug this in here and your battery will feed through and come back out and give radio uh, power to your Dragon Link. So that's it in a nutshell, so I'm about to do a little bit of soldering now. And